from an India perspective, even the elections, but the elections notwithstanding from a global markets perspective, geopolitics, um, uh, r r rising, rising yields, uh, maybe uh, a quick response from central banks around the world. And uh, of course, the withdrawal of QE, all of these bunched up together. Do you reckon there are headwinds in the near term for equities? Or do you think some of the corrective moves that have happened thus far bake in the negatives from all of these events bunched up together? I think we're in an inflection point, but nobody really knows what the outcome will be because a lot of these variables, um, I think even Mr. Putin doesn't know <laughs> where they're going. Uh, and so what I would say is that it could go either way. So the case you described is uh, the bad way, but Ukraine could settle down, they could find a deal. Uh, I really scratch my head with this, um, this Ukraine issue because I feel that the US, if I was a, uh, a sort of, you know, the State Department uh, uh, person, I, I would feel we should make a deal with the Russians. And, and you know, the, 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 the issue is going to be one with China eventually. They're not doing it that way. So that's why I'm saying it, it, there are some things going on that sort of contradict uh, what we what you would think is sense. But I want to say anyway, to continue on that train of thought that things could improve with Ukraine, the inflation prints could start coming down. Um, in fact, I think they will. And they already are in some cases. And uh, central banks could be much less hawkish than the market is pricing in. Um, then you could get a very, very, uh, dare I say, violent uh, rally. It, that is also possible. So I think we need to stay humble and recognize that there is a lot we don't know. Um, but um, yeah, I, I guess I would, I would say, I would leave it like that. And I would say that um, it is a, a, an environment where liquidity is important. And so, you want to stay with um, the liquid stuff, which means um, bonds instead of credits and large caps instead of small caps and large markets instead of small markets. Got it. Uh, am I reading this correctly, Mark, that you are, uh, you are a bit more constructive on, on this? I, mean, I, I know you mentioned that there are a lot of imponderables. And so my direct question would be, are you, kind of staying on the sidelines and waiting and watching? Or are you building a hypothesis and making moves in your portfolios, if you will? Um, to clarify, we have reduced uh, positions that could become illiquid. Um, and uh, we are remaining invested. So um, th that's how we're positioning ourselves. Um, it, as I said, it could go either way. Uh, balance of probabilities, I, I think, is in favor of uh, a more optimistic scenario. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that very, very, you know, uh, north of fifty. In other words, it's not eighty or ninety. It's probably something more like sixty. Uh, 